Hey guys, this is Vic Dorfman from MemberFix, and in this first part of a small video series on connecting Thrivecart with MemberPress, I'm going to show you the very first step which you need to do in order to use Zapier with MemberPress, and that is to set up the application passwords plugin in WordPress. And as you can see here, I'm following my own documentation for this. And all you have to do, this is a pretty simple step, but a crucial one, is you've got to go into WordPress, you've got to go to plugins, and I've already got this plugin installed here, but I'm going to pretend as if this were completely fresh installation. And you're gonna to go to plugins, and you're going to click add new, and you're going to search for application passwords. And the very first plugin that comes up is by George Stefanis. And that is the plugin that you want to install and activate. Okay, so as soon as you've done that first step, what you want to do is you want to hover over your username here in the upper right hand corner. And you want to click on edit my profile. Okay, now you have to, obviously you have to be logged in as an administrator. And once you have the application passwords plugin installed, you're just going to scroll down to the section that's called application passwords and you can see it right here. Now I've already created my application password, but let me show you how this process works. So you're going to enter a seed password here. Now it doesn't matter what you put here, it could be anything you want. And based on the seed phrase, the plugin is gonna generate the application password. So we're going to call it uh, application pass two. add new. And you can see that it gives us the actual application password right here. Okay, now you don't need to remember your seed, you just need to remember the the result that it spits out. Okay, so you're going to copy that. I'm going to open a new tab and just paste that in the URL box there. And then we'll click dismiss. All right, now you can see that we've got application pass two created here. Okay, and let me just show you real quick where this is going to go. Uh, definitely make sure that you put this in, um, in a Word file or in, or in a text file. Now the other thing you're going to want to grab really quickly is in addition to the application password, you want to scroll all the way up and find your username. Okay, so you need to have your exact username, including the capitalization. And you want to write that down as well. And I'm going to write it down like this, Vic Dorfman. And I'm going to separate my username from the application password. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pipe in the middle of these two values. So I've got my username, I've got a pipe in the middle, which is just this vertical bar, okay, which you can find on your keyboard somewhere, and you've got your application password, okay. Now I'm going to remove all of the spaces between these three values. So I'm going to remove this space, and I'm going to remove this space. So now we've got the username, the pipe, and the application password. Now you don't remove the spaces in the application password, you just remove it between each item, okay? And this is, these are going to be your authentication details. This is what authenticates the webhook request that is sent from Zapier to your member press installation. So you wanna keep this in a safe place. And that is all you need to do on this step. And in the next step, um, I'm going to show you how to actually begin setting up the Zap.